Now we are going to write speed number 195 B3 and B4 on speech start dictation CD number 332. Get ready. Start. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to support the motion of thanks to the President for the address he has delivered to both houses of Parliament. I would like to say that it is a fairly comprehensive survey of the performance of the government during the last year and also indication of certain legislations and policies which the government is going to undertake during the next year. I wish to point out that only a survey is taken for one year, but attempt has been made to highlight the performance of this government in the previous years also. There are several points which have been mentioned in this address and it is customary for the honourable members of the opposition to belittle this government or to say that the government cannot take credit for all these performances. Equally, it is natural that the opposition members are not likely to concede any of the successes of the programmes of this government. I am glad to point out that even in this year's President's address, the problem of unemployment finds a mention. In this country, the problem of unemployment is a very big problem which could pose a serious threat to our country in the future in case it is not solved in time. In this context, I want to make a mention of a large number of posts lying vacant in many big undertakings of the central government such as railways. Therefore. It is my request that the government should notify all the existing vacancies as soon as possible and fill all those vacancies at the earliest. It will provide a good opportunity to the unemployed youth of this country who are at least 1 crore in number. I would also like to stress that there should be reservation for women in the matter of the economic development and I want to plead with the government to provide reservation for women in the services so that ladies may also get an equal opportunity to work. With your permission, sir, I would like to bring to the notice of the government another important factor. It is about the postal order which is required to be furnished along with the applications. I feel that it is a great burden on the unemployed persons. In this connection, I would like to point out that there are a large number of unemployed youth in our country who are not in a position to remit the amount. Of. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure to welcome you all to the 5th Annual General Meeting of the Tamil Nadu Computer Institutes Association. The balance sheet of the association for the year under review together with the auditor's report are already with you and with your permission I shall take them as read. The suggestions made by the members in the course of the discussion have been noted by us and we shall look into the same immediately. We are very glad that in the midst of his busy engagements, the Honorable Education Minister of Government of Tamil Nadu has come here to participate in our proceedings. This shows the keen interest of the Honorable Minister in Computer Education. We are thankful to the Honorable Minister for the pleasure and the privilege he has given to us today. As you are aware, computer education is spreading fast in our country today. A computer in an office is a must and in a house is a necessity. This is the situation in which we are living at present. The number of students taking up to the study of computers in preference to typewriting is increasing at the present time. Therefore, I propose to place a few suggestions for the consideration of the Honorable Minister. First of all, at present, there is no system of giving recognition to computer institutes. I request the Honorable Minister to introduce the system of recognition for the computer institutes as in the case of typewriting institutes. This will ensure better amenities to the students and also the image of the recognized institutes in the minds of the students and the public. I would also request the Honorable Minister for Education to introduce government examination in computer subjects as in the case of typewriting and shorthand. This will not only ensure uniformity in the teaching of computer subjects but will also enable the students to acquire the required degree of knowledge in computer subjects which will be very useful to them once they take up employment as computer professional. This will also create healthy competition among the institutes and fix reasonable fees for the computer courses. Stop.